guess what? A new baby koala came in last night. His name is Chompy. Okay, over you go, little boy. Oops, oh, you can take your leave, baby, don't worry. <laughs> So Chompy got his name because he came in and all we could hear was just Chompy just chomping away going. Boy Chompy. <laughs> he just waved. <laughs> he was found without a mum and he had really sore eyes because he ran into some green ants. It was really important that he came in to get some help. It's really good that he's eating a lot of leaves, but it would be better if he could drink some milk as well, which is really important for Chompy to grow stronger. The milk will give him the extra ingredients that he needs to grow. But if we can't get him to drink milk, we could be in big trouble here. All right, I'll go and get the milk. In the wild, baby koalas get their milk from their mums. At the koala hospital, we use a special milk made just for wildlife like koalas. We'll wrap him like a little burrito to keep his little hands still. I just want to try and keep him as still as no, possible. No, the lambs can't come out. Oh, Chompy! Let's come up here, let's see. Gotcha. Let's see. Hold him there. Come on. Come on. It's okay, Chompy. Milk is really important. You can trust me. I'm really worried that Chompy isn't drinking his milk. But I guess he doesn't know we're trying to help him. So what do you think we could do to make things a little bit easier for him? Any ideas? Well, I think once he gets to trust us, we'll be able to start feeding him. Yeah. Seeing as though Chumpy doesn't have a mum now, that means I have to be his foster mum. That's true. So maybe I can see how the mum koalas treat the babies, maybe just watch them for a bit in the wild, and then I can come back and try to do the same with Chumpy. Yeah. And be Chumpy's mum. I think that's a great idea. What do you think, Chumpy? Oh, I think he likes that. <laughs>